Hello, my friends. I am Kenneth, and today I am broadcasting to you from the capital of Jordan, the city known as Amman. It is the sixth largest city in the Arab world and has a population of over 4 million people. What I want to do today is go out and explore a little bit of its history. So I had a really good experience at this restaurant yesterday and thought I'd give it one more try. One of the reasons why I like it so much is that because in addition to good food, it has a great view to the main thoroughfare of the city. The taxi driver and I do not share a language, which is unfortunate, because I would really like to know his thoughts about Saddam Hussein, whose image he has plastered on his mirror. The Romans conquered the Levant region in 63 BC. This theater was constructed in 100 AD during the reign of Antoninus Pius. Nearby you will find the Odeon, a smaller version of this theater, and not far from here also you will find the Roman Nymphaeum, which is the largest public fountain in this part of the world. So unfortunately, the Jordan Museum is closed this afternoon, but I am right next to the Museum of Popular Tradition. I don't know too much about this, but I'm hoping I'll be pleasantly surprised when I'm inside. The museum is free to enter, and the first part I learned a little bit about Jordanian textiles and also Jordanian jewelry. In this part of the museum, we're going to learn a little bit about some 6th century mosaics that come from the Jordanian city of Jarash. Opposite the Museum of Popular Traditions, we have the Folk Folklore Museum, which was founded in 1975. What I like about this museum is I can see recreations of what life was like in the Levant centuries ago. So we are standing inside the Nymphaeum, which was built in the 2nd century AD during the Roman period when the city of Amman was known as Philadelphia. The Nymphaeum is the largest public fountain of its kind in this part of the world. Hello everybody, it is a new day in Jordan and today I want to learn about the cultures that have shaped this nation from the Moabites, the Ammonites, the Greeks and the Romans and what better place to do that than inside the Jordan Museum.
So this is where my tour of the Jordan Museum came to an end. I took a taxi back to my hotel and got myself ready for the three hour journey by bus to Petra the following morning. My time in Amman was very profitable. I met people who were genuinely gregarious, very kind, very welcoming. My overall impression was wonderful. I would definitely love to come back to Jordan and see some more. It's a country that is rich in history. If you enjoyed this video, and I hope you did, please do me a huge favor by clicking like, subscribe, and let others know. I'll be back every week with new videos from my adopted city of Paris and other parts of the world. Once again, thank you so much for watching.